while we're kind of waiting, anybody have any fun Thanksgiving plans or just having a staycation at home? Mm -hmm. We don't travel, <laughs> not, not for Thanksgiving. So thankfully our family is all right around here within like seven miles, so. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So, that's you know, just, you know, make food and be together and there you go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love that. I didn't grow up around any of my family. So we always had to travel a little bit for Thanksgiving. So it's been a little bit of a tradition. Um, mm -hmm. So we're in Denver this week um, to visit some Colorado family. Jody, oh, do you have gotcha. plans for Thanksgiving? I'm going to my parents' house. They only live about two and a half hours away. Uh, but my brother and one of my sisters, their families are all coming as well. Um, we growing up, we had the big tradition of traveling to my grandparents house in Ohio we all live in North Carolina um so yeah I loved that tradition and every year as it got closer I like crave it's weird I craved that eight hour road trip up north I absolutely loved it there were six of us in the van and it just it was so much fun but yeah so now we go to my mom's love that and that's super exciting that you're closer to your family now or to your parents so that you can kind of have that family yeah. thing Thing. That's awesome. And have that kind of central hub. Christy, you doing anything for Thanksgiving? I'm not used to being on this side of a Zoom call. So I'm like, where's my video? <laughs> you? We're not, you know, we're not doing anything fun. I don't even, yeah, no, we usually don't because we don't have family. And uh, I normally have, we have a Another family come over, but they have plans, and I asked late, and so I, I don't know. We we might have turkey. I might make something. <laughs> if nothing else, you could just have a quiet day. <laughs> it's just going to be a quiet day. Well, I was actually looking at um, maybe volunteering time instead this year. That's a great idea. Uh, we'll see. I haven't been able to find anything, but I thought I'm I'm keeping a my eye open for a particular opportunity to open up. Yep, yeah, absolutely. No, that's super fun. Um, yeah. Well, we'll probably go ahead and just kind of mosey that way. Um, Christy, just for a little bit of background, um, we do these after every month on close, um, just to have a chance to kind of regroup um, answer any questions around troubleshooting that came up with keeper, your team systems, kind of anything's fair game on this call. Um, if you don't have any questions and you just wanted to kind of be a fly on the wall, we always have many topics to kind of chat about um, and we can go into templates or some fun features in keeper. So there's always going to be something on this call, but um, I do want to kind of open up the floor and see if either one of you guys had a specific question that you were coming in with this week or a specific challenge after this last month end. I don't think I do. Not yet. Um, you know, just still getting acquainted with Keeper. So yeah. Okay. How about you, Christine? Um, I don't think I have anything with the month end. I, I kind of wanted to just see what this was like, and um, I my challenges are more around the weekly bookkeeping and and really just making sure that I'm using Keeper to its fullest potential. But yeah, month end, I love Keeper for month end. Good. Good. And I just had a call with digits too, which is kind of interesting. Oh, you did? Nice. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, it seems like they're kind of uh, making some features very similar which is interesting. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. Um, I'm actually curious, and that brings up a question. When you're talking about like utilizing Keeper to its fullest potential, we hear that pretty often, and that's a little bit different for each person, but I'm curious if there's anything that comes up immediately when we kind of dive a little bit deeper into that topic or anything you feel like you're not using that you're like, man, I just feel like I, I would like more of this angle of Keeper. Yeah, I think for me, like I haven't really, <clears throat> I think uh, what I'm looking for is probably sitting in firm tasks, but um, because it's at a task level and not a client level, it's overwhelming. And so I just, I just don't go into it. 
but I feel like, so I use financial sense right now to kind of manage my, my workflow. I'm trying to get out of that and stick with Keeper. And, um, and I love that you guys are doing this and you're not Keeper, but this is great and very helpful. But um, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something because I can't, like, great, when a close is done and everything's green and wonderful, but I need that for a weekly. And I don't know how to get that. So you can get open. that with the with the comment with the with the column, depending on how you're using it. But mm. you don't because when you put in a weekly task, right, and it's going to come and recur every seven days or whatever, and I check it off for this week because it's set up for anything within the next seven days, it pops right back in and and it stays white the non-closing tasks stay white because it's now oh, already hear you. thinking about yeah. next week. And, and then there's like, for example, today I have a client whose weekly work is on Friday, but there's one thing I do for her on the 16th of every month that's not always on a Friday. And so I have everything, like I have my views set up, like my Monday, my Tuesday, my mm -hmm. Wednesday. So I change that every day but she's at my Friday, but today is Wednesday. And so I need to figure out how I can make sure that that task without going into firm tasks, I can make sure that it gets done. For that one that's due on the 16th, I would have that set up as a separate task that reoccurs monthly on the 16th. So then right. whatever it should, well, depending on how you have your views saved, you're welcome to share your screen too, if you felt comfortable. Um, yeah. And that way it would show up um, no matter what day of the week the 16th landed on. But does it show up in firm tasks? It would show okay. up in your task view. Oh. <laughs> oh there's how do you have, tell, tell, me, <laughs> tell me how you've got your, um, your view saved. You said you have them yeah. saved by day of the week. Yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me close my QuickBooks before I get timed out because that's annoying. And then let me share my screen. And then there's Keeper. So <clears throat> I stay in this client list and maybe that's mm -hmm. my problem. And so I have my views. Okay set up this way and I have them different so I could see my team's clients as well but right um, this is kind of where I focus on and so like I'll go to um, I'll go to today and I haven't done many of these things anyways but like this one I've completed for the week but it's not showing completed because everything is Wednesday is yet. seven days from today yeah yeah um, okay but like, I don't ever go into here. And I think it's because I don't want to see, and maybe there's a way I can look at this. I don't want to see each task. I just want to see. From your, from the drop down right there that says due date. Yeah. Look, and just like due today. You're saying you don't want to see every task. Okay. You're just looking for the client name. It's good. I think what would maybe be helpful, and and I know you're not bad, and maybe it's out there already as a thing, but like instead of seeing this as a page like this, mm -hmm. I'd like to see it like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then every time I do something, I have to click that. Can you make it so you're just looking at this? You should. Does can that you? Make sense? Yeah, you should be able to like say that you completed the task. Well, no, like why is this just a window? Oh, uh, why does it have to be a pop-up? Yeah. Do we need to put in a request to make that like move to a new page instead of it being a pop-up? Thank you for the correct terminology. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I mean, you definitely can put that request in. I've started seeing people put requests into Canny and then post it on the Facebook group telling everybody to go vote for it. <laughs> I know, I saw that too. <laughs> like, that is a great idea. And I'm like, yeah. I need to go back in and find mine that I want people to vote on. That's um, funny. Okay. I'm brainstorming. Okay. My wheels are turning on how to, to help with this. Yeah, I think that this is good. Um, I really haven't played around with this and maybe that's what I need to be doing is just coming in and, um, and so this will take you right to it too. Yeah, that opens the close. But if you click on the, the square to the far left, like if you wanted to bulk, bulk right. complete, Mm -hmm. task to be like okay I finished all of these already you can save time from going into closes by checking that and at the bottom middle it'll say you know it'll ask you what you want to do with that task okay I do like that and I can change the view okay. you can also save views within here too yeah I see that but I do uh, want to commend you for your use of the saved views and how many different ones that you have set up. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it really helps because, yeah, because that's just how I kind of organize things. I don't want to see what I have to do for the week. I need to see what I, I have to do today. So I have, well, everybody, next Go ahead. I have everybody's day of the week and then I have just mine and then I have, so I can look at each person's yeah. clients. That's wonderful. But, yeah. A lot of people, I mean, the more clients you have in here, the more daunting this page gets because right. there's so much information on here. Mm -hmm. um, like that. So that is, yeah, that can be really <laughs> overwhelming. So being able to break it up by your saved views is an excellent tool to use. Yeah. I mean, otherwise you can't use it. I, I couldn't use it. I, I would still, I mean, I could, but I would still need financial sense to, yeah makes sense of it still trying to think if like maybe you could do a custom column but you kind of already have those I don't want to add more mm. yeah and and I saw that Ben said that they were working on um working on this page I almost want the task to not show up until they're within five days due yeah and, and I think that that's in there. And I think Tyler actually put it in there. And I think I did? Okay. I'll have to look for that one. I'm Let me pretty make sure note. I wrote it on there. Because that way you wouldn't, it, you wouldn't have that where you complete it one day and then the next day it's all back. <laughs> yeah. And then I could have that column be green. And then honestly, once, you know, like it would be also really great. And I think, like I said, I think they're working on it. But to get rid of all these other things yes. that are irrelevant, once month end is done. Yeah. I've asked them for that, like the capability to pick and choose what columns you want to see. Yeah. So if you don't want to see any of those, then you hide them all. But if you want to see specific ones, let those show. Yeah. Um, and then and be able to maybe see somewhere. those views too. Like my Tuesday weekly. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, well, that's helpful with the task. That. I'll have so. to... While we're on that, do you mind if I ask a question about just the setup here? Um, I'm newer to Keeper, um, and I'm curious. So, Jody, it sounded like you could add custom columns to it, mm -hmm. but yeah. these ones are always going to show up, no matter like the custom columns you create, and you can't hide it. Is that are are both of those correct? Yes. Oh, interesting. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. But the ones that you add don't always show up so like they're not I'm, on the default you have to save a view with the them added yeah oh gotcha gotcha yeah. so like my days i've added days of the week and i've added um who the besides the the p and the r the what does the p stand for preparer preparer and reviewer i've added like who they're assigned to which is essentially i guess the same as the preparer yeah um for one client, we had a column for payroll and a column for classes. So that at a glance, she could see which clients did payroll and which clients had classes because mm -hmm. you have some different tasks for those. Um, or like for payroll, to make sure that she did the payroll for everybody, she could just filter by payroll clients. And it was really easy to, to see that. 
I like oh, that's that. a great use case. Yeah, that's a really good use case. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm thinking next year, I'm going to hire someone internally and I might have that person do, like I have a couple clients we do invoicing for. And if I work on my clients one day a week, I'm like, you can only do invoices one day a week. So if we had something where we do the AR for someone and we could use that column, we can kind of sort it out that way. <clears throat> so I'm going to have that person then do it more frequently than just that one day a week or bill pay, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That's, that's, a, that's a good little tidbit too. So. Writing down notes and I can't remember what the other one was I was going to put down. <laughs> this being a page? <laughs> I'll let you put that one in <laughs> and then I'll go for it um oh I know what it was for you to be able to choose which view is your default oh yeah well I guess you could set a new default does it let you do it already well, if you just started from here and then kind of mocked it up and then just said <laughs> my default. But when I, so like, I'll go at the end of the day, I'll go to, I'll put it to my Thursday. And I don't log out, but I shut down my window and I restart my computer. And when I come back the next morning, it's sitting here. As long as you don't close out that tab. Yeah. I mean, I close out the whole, the whole, um, Google, right. Chrome, whatever it is. Browser. Yeah. But if you, if you don't close the individual tab, then whatever was up last will often will repopulate. Set up. So when I open it, it goes, it opens it up Yeah. in a specific way. So I think it's just, if you log out, I think you could still close that tab. And reopen it, but okay. if you log out of Keeper, which I never do, yeah, unless I yeah, I'm keep. always <laughs> I'm always logging out and into all different people's yeah. accounts. <laughs> yeah, I never have one open all the time. That makes sense. I can't get you off of mine, by the way. You can't. No, it's really weird. Let me see if I can find. Go it to your see. settings. I've so I've taken you out, but watch. Is it here? Is it here? Oh. But on your settings, I'm gone. That's odd. Yeah. That's just a glitch. <laughs> I wonder why that didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I swear I took that off. I took you out. <laughs> but you still pop up there. I will never forget you, Jody. Good. <laughs> Happy to hear that. <laughs> Keep me front, front and center. So if you have any questions, you know who to come to. <laughs> okay. So what other ways do you think you would want to be using Keeper? Like to its fullest potential or to, to optimize it the way you want it? Is there anything else? outside of what we were just discussing? Not that I'm aware of yet. I think um, part of it goes back to the whole uh, me being my biggest problem and that being finding the time. So uh, I've got the weekly stuff up that the template that you provided and we're using that and we're refining it and we're, you know, fine tuning it, but I haven't applied any other templates that's okay there's no shame in that it it takes a little little by little you're going to get more and more into it and it's going to be built out more and more to your firm you have to start small yeah to go in and do everything at once it, that's just madness. well it's unrealistic because we can't <laughs> just block out the entire week even if mentally it makes sense like that that's just not right. how owning a business ends up working out right. so there, there's no shame in that. Um, one thing that's uh, been helpful that you might try to utilize if you're not already is going through or like customizing that template or um, playing around with a certain workflow when you're doing it. 
Um, so yeah. as you're in the act of, and, and like you said, you might already be doing this, but that's one thing that's been really helpful, um, with some of the other workflows that I've built out are actually going through and customizing them as I'm going through. So I don't have to, it's, it's a harder task to ask myself to sit down and mentally think through that process and find what's wrong and customize it. But if I'm in there already and working around, and then I'm like, Oh, that needs to be changed there or, oh, yeah. this could add a loom here. It, it's it's helpful to do it while it's fresh in mind if, if you aren't using that already. Yep, yeah. yeah, and I do that for sure. Um, I was gonna say one thing on one of your guys' templates <clears throat> that, um, let's see, that I didn't catch at first. So when we're going through these weekly, okay, here's the issue, there's a whole other thing here too. But so when we go through here, we get to this transaction review. Mm -hmm. which is funny because this is done. Um, you have to refresh Keeper because you're in here, right? So I come in and I'm working through this and I'm, you know, I check my communication. I process my, uh, my receipts. I clear the bank feed. And let's say I've pushed things into uncategorized expense. It doesn't, you don't see it right away unless you refresh Keeper. Or if you oh, go like the out. sync, the sync between QBO yeah. and the status of those. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. There's I think a lot of websites that sync with another one. It's a I think when you refresh, it's like a hard push to get information back to one another. Um well, it's, so just it's this not always instantaneous. Mm -hmm. And if I were to go, like I just hit this button. And so I've been adding this refresh keeper right here because what I'm finding is if I forget to refresh it and then I come through all of these um, categories here, these review tasks, um, nothing shows up. And then I go in the next week and I check them all and it's all older stuff. And I'm like, it took me a minute. I was like, why are these? showing up in here, I should have cleared that out last week and it's because I didn't refresh it. But if you were to come out and then go back in because it's pulling it through, it'll come up. But if you're yeah. staying in that client, so it's just something I'm only telling you because you have these amazing templates <laughs> and that's kind of been getting met, missed. And so I just put this little. Okay, that's, I mean, that's great feedback to hear. Um, and it helps uh, part of part of the really tricky thing with uh, workflows in general is that you do have to kind of mark those little steps that you may forget. And that's a great way to, while the system, there's a little bit of a clunk in the system, writing down how you actually overcome that or what you need to do so that that doesn't happen. So you don't duplicate the work. Like while that, that uh, clunk is frustrating, you did the exact perfect thing. And we really appreciate mm -hmm. bringing it up so that we can put that in there because it is like, it, it's such a bummer to not have that on your workflow and forget and then redo all of that work. So yeah. kudos for you for adding that step. That's like perfect 101 of how to customize those workflows truly. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. And I did update the template too. Good. And this is just a little frustrating thing, but these don't come in order. I know. There's nothing I can do to, to make it come in order. Um, I know I've seen the request out there oh, for them right. to be either, uh, I don't remember how somebody worded it, alphabetical or like something. <laughs> To yeah. where it's numbered but yeah, yeah. Other, it, you just have to move them around yourself which is frustrating three weeks but i think the request is out there <laughs> yeah, i know i'm like last week, i picked this last week i know i did <laughs> yeah and then you check it off and the new one re comes back in and it's out of out of order again <laughs> yeah and then it just straight back up in there immediately <laughs> you're not alone <laughs> i know they do so many wonderful things it's yeah you know they're working on it and this one i've worked on the um this is my first like cleanup workflow which was really nice and and super helpful as well so i great. i really appreciate what you guys have done for me it's great, great. that's good Just to hear thank you it's a matter of utilizing it so 
Um, oh, so these are things to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so here's, process, an process. here's another little funny, interesting thing. You know, these are all these starred ones mm -hmm. are all their emails mm -hmm. that they created. And a lot of them, once you're in it and I've changed them, so I don't remember exactly which ones, but like you don't need this one. Okay, here's a good example. So this, this email that they've created, that they've starred, you can't get rid of. And it's, we just updated your, your client portal. Okay. Well, I've let them all know that. So I don't, yeah, that's not a anymore. thing anymore. <laughs> so what I, I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to be smart and I'm just going to write over it. Well, that didn't work either. It didn't. Like, I, Cause I know I've written over some of them. Some of them work and some of, some them, of them don't. I know, I know that I've talked to Ben about this before. It's just definitely not high on the priority list. Yeah. And it, as it shouldn't be, I don't think. Right. Cause it's just emails. But, but yes, just, I've noticed those things too. Yeah. Just a funny little thing. I'm like, I don't, I just want it a little bit cleaner when I'm trying to choose what email. So yeah. and maybe I just need to try again to write over it. Cause obviously it took it, it took it up here. But anyways, yeah. other than that, those were my issues and you did help with the tasks that I'll have to use that. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned that you have things in firm tasks, but that it may not be working well for you or what uh, parts of it are, are, I don't use it. Up? You know what? I think it actually was, um, I think it was actually this and it was oh. just the, um, so much. Yes. But um, this another thing that might help to filter is to utilize that priority, that high priority star. So especially for the one that you have that's due on the 16th, you might want to have that as a high priority task. So that it's always at the top mm -hmm. the, at the month that it comes, you know, whenever it comes around. Um, but doing the high priority stars, do you know what I'm talking about there? Okay. Doing that, it'll, it can highlight whichever task um, is like the most important for the day. I was just going to say, this would be helpful, but it's there. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to we'll just have to use this more often. And it's hard because it's, if it was his own page, I would live here every day. Yeah, the only thing you could do is open two tabs, have this open in one tab and do all your work in the other one. <laughs> Which is a thought. Hmm. I said, that's a good thought. A workaround yeah. at least. Yeah, the firm is, you know, I the firm tasks, I think the problem is um, I don't ever have time to work on my own business, so I don't put in here. <laughs> But I did start, I did stay, uh, I did stay up late one night and, and put a bunch of stuff in here. And I actually have a bunch of post-it notes. That's good. I mean, at least it's a holding place until you're able to circle back around to it. Yeah. And just like uh, you were at BKX, I, I added a brain dump. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks, Ben. Love those. <laughs> so. Awesome. And then, yeah, yeah. Future uh, keeper requests that I haven't had time to actually request. I will be adding the page one to that. So anyways. Good. Yeah. That's all I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had my team. I'm going to have my team join next week, next month. Yeah. Trying to think. I don't want to go into a whole new topic because we've already talked about a lot. Yeah, I'm was... just cutting this one short. But um, I'm, I can okay. show you where the customize your that screen. Let me share. Okay. 
It's my music really loud. Sorry, I can mute myself. Move you guys off my screen. Can you see that? Oh, nope, I did it wrong. <laughs> Take two. Can you see, Keeper? Okay. Um, so to create these custom columns, you go up here to settings. It's just in here. No client settings. Properties. Yes. So all client settings, click on properties. You can, this is basically where you can customize or delete columns that you've added. These are in addition to the ones that are your default keeper section. So you've got your client sections. All of those have their own columns. This would be in addition to. So I'd mentioned that I had added classes and payroll for some. Um, you can just add columns here. And then you can also pick and choose what type of column it is. So for the classes and payroll, I chose a checkbox. Well, you can also just have a text a text box where you can write anything you want to in it. Um, show an attachment, uh, choose from something, have a date, have a list of your users. So there's a variety of different types of columns you can have. And then of course you can name it anything that you want. To reorder them, click on that and just drag them however you would like. Um, so if I wanted payroll to be the first thing I saw next, I would do that. Um, hit close. Of course, you can delete the column if you wish. Just select them individually there. So all of those custom columns fall between your status column and the period column. They will all be here. This is your fields button. So to pick which columns you want. So if you added more, you can see everything's getting pushed off to the side. Um, here you can, I forget what that one does. Okay. Can't reorder on here, of course, and it just pushes everything that direction, which is why I've asked for some more flexibility to be able to move the screen around. <laughs> but of course you can save this view, like I've got that one saved. Uh, and the double means that everybody on the team can have that same view. Yeah, there's your, your custom columns, take them all away. And we've got, this is all the standard. If you add a new section within a client, a column will automatically appear with that same header. You see here at the very end, I've got my quality control because I added that section at the very bottom of my client close. While we're talking about customization, you can definitely update status options and your task options. Those are going to be in practice and statements under tasks. Lots of options here to figure out what's going to be the best way for your keeper to work or how you want your firm to be working in keeper. Close status options here. You can add as many as you want. You can give them colors, you can edit the colors. Um, I've got a bunch in here like in process stuff, ready for manager review, whether it's a cleanup, even offboarding. If we're losing a client, we can choose that as they go through an offboard process. But you can continue to add as many as you want and then those will appear in the drop down for, for your bookkeepers to check. Just a couple little things. Yeah. On those custom statuses, um, is that something, where do you actually update that? Is that within kind of that uh, lead sheet for that individual client or is it just on this kind of task view page? Um, let's see, let's go in. You can update it here or on the main client screen. Is that what you were asking? Yeah, exactly. That's okay. really interesting. Very cool. Yeah. And you can do the same thing for the individual task. And the loads. 
So all of them defaults are not started, but you can do a drop down and select if it's done where it is. If you mark it done, it automatically changes it over here to done just by clicking that, which is nice. So you don't have to do both. Um, you can, same place that you customize your status, you can customize your task status as well. So if you had other ways or other things you wanted to use or you wanted to delete some of these so there aren't so many to choose from, you can do that too. Just a couple ways to personalize and customize your Keeper account. I see how I could maybe use the status um, <clears throat> for the weekly too. It just might get confu confusing during the month end process, so for half of the month, but I could do like weekly done or something like that. You could also have a, a weekly column that says weekly status if you wanted it separate from your month end. Uh so to do that, you would come here, all client settings, properties, you'd add a column. Um, you could even just do a checkbox that says weekly done. Or you could say, gosh, this might be better to have um, hold on, I'm going to change this up to um, Week complete. Option one would be week one. So I hit remove. Week one. Week two. Week three. Week four. So hit save. I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to make sure that I add that column in. So right here, they, okay, this one I finished, it's done with week one. So I know that the first week of the month, everything for their non-closing tasks is complete. So that's an option. That's a one method that you could use to keep track of that weekly status. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you can change it to any text you want. Mm -hmm. um, you could also have it as a date. So that you could say we com or complete through and then show the date that everything has been completed to. Um, so you could, yeah, lots of different options there. I would play around with it and see which one's going to be a good fit for to help with that weekly status check. And I think one thing to remember there, um, after you kind of play around and figure out, and maybe you play around with one or two clients and just kind of get a feel for what you want to do with that. Um, one thing, just like you did on the last workflow, make sure to add that into your end of week once mm -hmm. at the very bottom of that weekly checklist to change the weekly status or um, update through so-and-so date, um, just so that that is an easy checkbox that your um, contractors can see as well. I'm just showing a different option here. Like I said, it's done through the 15th. So that gives you an idea of what those types of customizations will look like. Any other thoughts or questions for today? One thought or one, one comment. I'm full of it. I thought I was just going to sit here and listen. Um, is it new or am I just finding it when you click, when you're in a client and you click, there's this client info files. Is that new? Newish. Yes. It, I, I would say it's come out within the last month. <laughs> I think I just noticed it today. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty cool. It's one of those little details because it's subtle, it just kind of popped up there. <laughs> yeah. It might have happened the same time they they changed up the client question section. But yeah, your details, your notes, files. And here you can see all or just like what's in the portal. Yeah. 
That's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to take up too much time. We'll give you a little bit of your day back here. Uh, Christy, thank you so much for sharing your screen and and showing us uh, different ways that you've been using it and allowing us to kind of walk through some of the the uh, challenges or the hiccups you're working through. And Melissa, thanks for joining us and just being here. Yeah. Um, part of the battle um, with anything of this is knowing what you can do. Um, so we always yeah. really appreciate even um, hopping on and just being here, um, getting exposure to some of those other use cases or how other people are using Keeper, some of the other challenges that you might be able to start thinking through as we're starting to build out your Keeper and, and kind of figuring out, oh, that was a really interesting idea. Let's make sure and use that. So thanks again for being here. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys. And, yeah. and just to let you both know, um, I'm, we're hoping to put more of these like little snippets in on our Facebook page, our Facebook group, to where it's like, hey guys, have you seen this feature in Keeper yet? Because there are so many that people don't know are there yet, or they've seen it and they just haven't had time to explore it. So we're going to be doing mini series coming up sometime. <laughs> um, and that way we can help to highlight some of those features that you may not know about. Do you do stuff like this for any other softwares or platforms? Not yet. Not at this point, but it's definitely on the roadmap. So uh, yeah. keep our ears peeled for anything that you're curious about or, or want to know more about and are kind of diving in yourself. We're happy to, yeah. we're all ears at this point. Yeah, just shoot us a message and we'll look into it for you. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all so much. Um, we'll go ahead and send out the replay afterward um, or the recording link. So if there was anything you wanted to go back into or you forgot where to change that custom column so that you can set up the, the new weekly complete date or anything like that, that'll be out um, early next week, probably. So just a heads up on that. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.